Hi Cancer and welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box and do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on with you for April 2022? All right, for the situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Six of Swords. Okay, so it feels like um, someone here, I, I do feel like it's you, but of course could be the other person. Um, <clears throat> somebody is trying to kind of figure out how to move away from a situation or just kind of still giving a little bit of energy to a connection where it just doesn't seem like it's getting anywhere. And the challenge really is to, you know, move away from that. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. For your energy, we have the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this is you. Um, unless the roles are reversed, of course. So, yeah, I feel like you're becoming more and more determined about a particular choice that you're making in, in a love connection or when it comes to love in general. And really that what that is leading you towards is emotionally detaching, possibly moving away from one connection at least. I don't know if there's something else. There could be, maybe there are two separate um, connections in your life. Um, but definitely I see you emotionally detaching and moving away from at least one, okay? Um, and maybe there is only one. Now, whatever this connection is, it definitely is a connection that is strong. Um, there is love here in this connection. But for whatever reason, you're feeling this, I feel like you, you feel the guidance. You feel the guidance to move away from this, at least for now. At least for now. Um, and it just seems like, you know, you've been kind of just um, maybe beating around the bush with that. Like, you know, maybe giving some energy to this, and then, but then also at the same time trying to figure out how you can find peace with moving away from this. Let's see, for the other person here, we have Temperance, okay, so that's Sagittarius. We also have Gemini showing up. We have the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's interesting because, okay, I mean, this may or may not be the same connection that you're trying to move away from. Um, but there's somebody here who is either involved in another commitment, could be for some of you, um, the way that this is showing up, doesn't have to be. But this person is wanting to keep some kind of a, some kind of a balance here with you. I feel like they still want to have some kind of an interaction with you. Let's see. Potential outcome, we have the King of Wands. Okay, so this is a very, for me, the King of Wands is very powerful. And the King of Wands can overcome all obstacles. So yes, this could definitely be for the connection, for the two of you mutually. I'm mostly seeing it as being you. Being able to overcome, you know, this, well, <laughs> this decision that you're trying to make, right? And the obstacles that you are encountering. So let's see. So for the situation here, for the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords, Death, and the King of Pentacles. All right, so Scorpio is also showing up in your reading. Yeah, you're, I feel like more and more you're beginning to see more clearly what it is that you want to do. And what it is that you want to do is have a conclusion here. 
you want to have a conclusion. I feel like you want to put an end to this connection and you are you're becoming more and more confident in that decision. You're still kind of, you know, um, giving energy here and there, both to the connection and both to leaving the connection, but you are becoming more and more stable and more and more sure of yourself um, in terms of walking away from this. Okay, so let's see for your energy. Let's clarify the King of Swords. Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, <laughs> it's like you're thinking a lot about this. Um, you're really focused on this. You're really focused on just. I feel like you. What you want to do is you. You want this to be like a very rational decision. I feel like you're feeling it intuitively, but you're also trying to find the um, rationale behind this decision. So that you don't feel like it's something impulsive, and so that you don't think that you're acting um, prematurely. Almost like you want to be able to justify it to yourself, maybe to make it easier for you. Um, let's see the lovers. The Six of Swords again, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're moving away from this. You're moving away from this. I feel like you're moving away from the conflict. You are still a little bit conflicted because of the, um, e either the emotions that you have with, for this person or because of the strength of the connection or because maybe you just feel like this is your person, but for whatever reason, you're also feeling like at this point in time, you need to walk away. Um, and it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but you're doing it though. You're really moving in that direction. Let's see the Eight of Cups, which I don't even really need to, but we'll see it anyway. Um, the Knight of Cups and the World card. Yeah, I mean, you're not chasing this person anymore, basically. Um, I don't know if you were actually chasing them before, but I see you closing the door on making an offer to them um, towards love, or even closing the door to them if they're now giving you an offer. You're just walking away from this. It's very simple. Okay, so let's see what's going on with them. Let's see temperance. Oh, okay, just had two flip over. We have the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands. So I'm not really seeing why um, you're walking away from this. Could be different for each of you. Um, but this person is definitely healing. Um, there's something that they're healing. There's something that they are working on on themselves. I feel like they're also... Um, it's like this person it has this very calm energy and maybe they were not calm in the past, I don't know, but there seems to be this energy of calmness. Almost like recovering from something. So it could be something outside of this connection or it could be recovering from something from within this connection. Whatever the case though, they're finding some kind of balance within themselves, they're healing something. Um, and I feel like this is happening in, in a very successful way. Let's see the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Cups and we have the Two of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so they're not 100% healed <laughs> just yet. I feel like this person is actually... Um, there is healing that is happening, okay? That's kind of like happening on the sidelines almost. Um, so they might appear to be calm, almost like appearing like they're over this or, or that they're okay with this. There's a lot of grief though beneath that still. There is still something that they're healing, but I, it's not really... Um, this connection because you, I feel like you haven't fully moved away from it or maybe you're not in contact. Um, maybe you're just, you know, pulling your energy away from this. 
this person at the same time is, is appearing to be very, very calm, um, almost unaffected by this or just going about their, their daily lives. There's some pain underneath all of that. Um, there's something that concerning this, this connection with you because they're feeling it too. See, their Four of Wands is right underneath your lover's card. So what you're feeling for them, right, the lovers, they're also feeling for you with the Four of Wands. And th there is a sense of loss and there's something here that they're not agreeing with. So it's almost like they're not agreeing with whatever it is that is happening. They're not really agreeing or they don't like you pulling your energy away but that is actually helping them to heal. They're appearing like they're okay, but they're not. But they are healing though. <laughs> um, something here. Through this, let's see the Three of Pentacles. The Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I feel like there's a group of you, it's not all of you, but there is a group of you where there might be a third party here there, or there might be um, some other commitment. Um, for those of you where that is the case, um, there's, there's a lot of grief for this person at the moment. Um, for not having made a decision, for having been still, for not really taking any action concerning that. Not only that, there's also a lot of grief within that other commitment. Um, a lot of grief and a lot of conflict. Almost feeling like it's not, feeling like it's not compatible. So here with the three of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. So in terms of that, right, if there is another commitment here, there's a separation. And it might not be a physical separation, but there's some kind of um, a breaking away on some level. Being, being like, it's, it's more like a detachment from that from that commitment, regardless of whether it's a third party or just some other situation. It's more of a practical situation at the moment and it's not, it's not so emotional. Um, if, there, if there is not another situation here that this person is dealing with, like I said, they're wanting to have this interaction with you even if the two of you are not together. It's like they want to have some kind of like a working relationship in some way. And it's because they, you know, they feel this connection with you just like you feel it with them. So let's see that King of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, your confidence is your confidence is building. I feel like you're feeling this drive to move in a new direction, and and it might be a path that might um, feel like it's taking a while to really like get on it and get it moving. But this new path is actually one that is going to be very stable for you. And it is moving you in the right direction, regardless of what ends up happening with this person later on in the future. You're overcoming these obstacles and you have what it takes in order to really achieve this. It's like you're, you're being asked to trust this path, trust the new path, trust your intuition, trust where you, you're feeling guided to go. So, yeah, Cancer, um, you're moving away from this. You're detaching. 
It's like you're just you're just walking away from whatever this is. And it's taking you to a new path that's going to feel a lot more secure for you. All right, so if this resonated, the final message for you is sanctuary. Take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or go on retreat. So yeah, take that if it feels right for you. All right, Cancer, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.